Hi guys and welcome to 123MyIT. In this video we will show you how to join a Zoom meeting. If you have been asked to join an online Zoom meeting but have absolutely no idea how to do that, don't freak out. This video will show you how to do it. Guys, this video will show you how to join a Zoom meeting, but I will also be doing a video after this one which shows you how to create a Zoom meeting. So please hit that subscribe button. I will show you how to do it in Windows first and then later on in the video I'll show you how to do it on a Mac. Okay, let's get started. Open up a web browser and type in zoom.us. That will take you to the official Zoom website and you should see the join a meeting link on the top of the web page. If you click on that, it will take you to a join a meeting page where it asks you for a meeting ID. Below that, you also have an option of joining a meeting from a H.323 slash SIP room. Don't worry if this doesn't make too much sense to you at this stage. I'm just pointing out that this is where you go if you need to connect to this type of meeting. Okay, let us check the meeting invite details that were emailed to us. So if you've been invited to a meeting, you will normally have some meeting details sent to you via email. Here I have a copy of that invite which says, 123MyIT is inviting you to a scheduled Zoom meeting. Topic, my meeting, and a link which you can use to join a meeting. Go ahead and copy that link and paste it in your browser. Press enter on your keyboard and the meeting will start. You can also copy and paste the meeting ID directly into the web page. Or if you have the Zoom app installed, you can also copy the meeting ID into the Zoom app. And below that you can change your display name. When using the Zoom app, you might be prompted for a password. Copy and paste that to join the meeting. You might be prompted to download the Zoom app or if you already have it installed, you will be prompted to open Zoom meetings. You should then see a pop-up which says, please wait for the host to start this meeting. As you can see, the meeting starts at 12 p.m., but the time now is 11.15 a.m., so we're a little bit early. While we are waiting, click test computer audio. In here, you can test to see if your speakers and microphone are working. If you have different speakers and microphones, you can also change which one you want to use in these settings. For example, you might have desktop or laptop speakers, or you might have headphones. If you click on video, you can change your video settings around. So here my webcam is just pointing at my Samsung phone playing a video. If you want, you can rotate your video. Under the camera drop down, if you have more than one camera, you can select a different one. Below that, you can change the ratio from widescreen to original. Enable HD allows you to up the resolution so that your video looks less pixelated. Mirror my video flips the video around. This is important if you are reading a book or something and you want to turn the text around the right way for your viewers to see it. Touch up my appearance makes the video look better. Okay, click on virtual background. This allows you to virtually add a background behind you. So if I select the 123 MyIT logo and I can add it behind me. If you untick mirror, the logo faces the right way. Note that it's not picking up the phone very well in the background. We can fix this by using a green screen. I don't have a green screen cloth, but I can change the LEDs in the background to green. Watch this. There you go, you can see the phone now. It's not perfect, but it works pretty well on my hand. Okay, the meeting has started. Just select join with computer audio. The first thing I recommend doing is turning off your audio and video in the bottom left until you are ready. Otherwise you might interrupt the host if he or she has started speaking. Next up, select participants and chat in the bottom. This will allow you to see who is in the meeting and display group chat if you have a question. If you're not camera shy, you can show your video by pressing the start video button in the bottom left hand corner, along with the unmute button to start speaking. 
If someone else is speaking, it's good practice to mute yourself until you want to talk again. Along the bottom, you also have a thumbs up and clap reaction, which displays on your video. You also have buttons to share your screen and record. In the top, you have gallery view and speaker view buttons. It just changes the view so you can see more participants if you need to. If you want to leave a meeting, Click the Leave Meeting button in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Joining a meeting on a Mac is pretty much the same. Go to zoom.us in the web browser, click Join a Meeting, copy and paste your meeting ID. If it's your first time joining a meeting, click Download and run the Zoom app. Press continue and enter your password to install. Again, paste in your meeting ID and change your name if you want and click join. Copy and paste your password. Congratulations, you have joined a Zoom meeting. All the options will be the same as the first part of this video. Also guys, don't forget to check out my other videos such as install Windows 10 on a Mac 2020 and do me a favour, if you know anyone who might need this video, please share it with them, hit the subscribe button and smash the bell icon.